My name is Dominic Maggio. I'm a neurosurgeon uh, partner here at Legacy Neurosurgery Associates. And, um, you know, I'm here to talk a little bit about SI joint dysfunction. The SI joint is where the, the spine connects to the pelvis. And when you think about it, the entire weight of the spine and abdomen and head and shoulders is going across this joint, so it needs to be sturdy. The most recent statistic I've seen is about 30% of patients with um, back pain actually have pain coming from the SI joint. And this becomes even a little bit higher in a patient that had a previous lumbar fusion. When I see someone with lower back pain radiating to the hip, buttock, and occasionally into the leg, they have a lot of tenderness in that lower back region to the left or the right side, maybe you know two to three inches off of midline. Oftentimes patients have difficulty sleeping. Sleeping at night, sleeping flat on the back, that causes a lot of pain oftentimes. Uh, standing up from a sitting position, they have difficulty walking upstairs. So at that point, the physical exam becomes very important. Ford and finger sign is another thing that we're looking for where patients take their finger and point right to where that pain is. After that, provocative tests are very important. And there's five provocative tests that we can perform. But essentially, if they have at least three out of those five provocative tests, that's generally um, diagnostic of SI joint dysfunction from a clinical basis. From there, it depends uh, in terms of the treatment, how severe the, the pain is. If it's bothersome, the patient's able to walk, we do conservative therapy, including physical therapy. There's a SI joint support pelt that we use. If the patient is having more severe type of pain, we'll also include injections into that SI joint. And it's very important to make sure that the injection um, is actually in the joint. It should be under at least x-ray guidance. And if you do the injection mixing, we like to do a little bit of steroid, a little bit of lidocaine, and you look for a temporary benefit of at least 75% improvement in the symptoms. For the most part, these injections don't last a long time. They can, uh, but for the most part, they don't, especially if, it, if the pain starts becoming more severe or in patients that have more severe type pain. We'd like to see at least two different instances where we do the SI joint injection and have that 75% improvement. And so if you have that type of response and then you have those uh, physical exam findings and you have a, um, an MRI that really isn't showing a cause in the, in the lumbar spine. And if it all kind of comes together and the patient is really debilitated and not able to function on a normal daily basis because the degree of pain is so severe, then there's options like an SI joint fusion that can really make a big difference in their quality of life. When the surgeon decides that surgery is the best option for you, we're able to go perpendicular to that joint space and put in a device that transfixes that SI joint and limits the movement of that SI joint. That procedure generally takes no longer than an hour. It's done in an outpatient setting. Right after the procedure, from what I, in my experience, I've seen is that the patient says that they can have a reduction in a lot of the sharp pain that they were having right before the surgery, but they will have some soreness. Some patients feel a whole lot better immediately, but I would say most typically at that day 10 period, um, they really start noticing a, a great improvement in their symptoms. They're able to now walk upstairs again and do certain things that they haven't been able to do for years. If these symptoms sound like something that you have, lower back pain, going in the hip and the buttock, um, and you might have been trying to get this fixed for several years even without much success, just give us a call. Let's look into it a little bit further. If this ends up being an SI joint problem, you shouldn't have to live with the rest of your life. We do have options that can really improve your quality of life and get you back to where you need to be.